Yo, yo, what's good? We back in the lab with it, man. You already know what it is. Also, man, I'll praise you to most. I got to make you guys give some, give me a like to your Lord and say, y'all. Also, man, make sure you guys like, subscribe on the video. Going to be trying to grow a lot. That's how I'm straight into it. So I got a lot of comments on my videos, man. And um, the typical comment you're going to see, how do I know if I'm handsome? Some girls say I'm hot and some girls say this and that and all this. And I'm just confused. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I get a lot of, you know what I'm saying, DMs and comments like that. And um, I have gave you guys, listen, in this video, how do I know if I am handsome? five undeniable signs now listen guys in these signs if you have at least three at least three of these signs then you are guaranteed handsome guys there's no other way around it and this is the thing some people be coming out of my stuff saying oh he just woke up and thought he was handsome isn't it i don't think i'm nothing i let the women decide that you know i let my life experiences decide that you know what I'm saying? So y'all can get y'all hating ass back. You feel me? But um, that's how straight to it. Number one, you don't have any social skills, but you get laid. Now, let me say this, guys. I am one person who can tell you off the rip. I don't have any social skills like that. I'm just being real. You're supposed to have them. It's good to have them. You need to have them. But I'm being honest with you guys. I don't I don't want to sit here and lie to y'all. In public, guys, I, I, I could be known as introverted very introverted guys i could even be known as shy you know what i'm saying but you know i done got laid and hey I, no social skills no game no nothing so i started to speculate you know what i'm saying and i started to wonder like okay and i'm, I'm sure you guys are the same way you're like okay i got laid i, I didn't really say no game i, I I didn't really have any game, no social skills, nothing like that, but I still got laid. Like, she made it very easy for me to get laid. And this is the thing, guys, of how I knew. You know what I'm saying? Or, or let me put this in perspective for you guys, you know what I'm saying? Just so, just so y'all understand. You know, like I tell you all the time at the casino I worked at, man, I was in very baggy clothes. And I also was nothing but 130 some pounds, very ripped and lean. And um, the thing is, was. It had to be the face, guys, because that was the only thing that was showing at that job. The face and the way my silent killer vibe was. But I was still able to get laid and, um, you know, wasn't the body, wasn't none of that. It was the face. You feel me? Because every woman around there, all they could do was talk to me, stare at me, look at me. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't have any social skills. So, guys, understand this. You know, me saying this to let you guys know. If you are getting laid, you the, the women find you very attractive, man. They find you very handsome. They find you very handsome. If you're not having no type of social skills, you ain't got no type of game, the women just find you very handsome, very attractive, and they're just going to let you in. They're going to they're gonna open up the gate, let you in. That's how it is, man. This is an undeniable sign, so I put it at number one. Because if you don't, your ass don't got no game and you don't got no social skills, but somehow you're still getting laid, what is it? It has to be attraction. It's nothing else. You know what I'm saying? What, what else could it be? You tell me. You know what I'm saying? But it has to be attraction. Number two, she came to your place for the first date. Do y'all not understand a lot of these guys do not get women to come to their crib on the first date? A lot of these guys are not even comfortable with asking these women to come to their crib on the first date. I don't give a care if she's the low value woman or the high value woman. These guys are scared to ask either. But that handsome, that attractive guy, you have no problem getting up to your face. I say your face, your place. You almost feel offended if she doesn't want to come to your place. You know, you might not even want to deal with if she doesn't come to your place. And um, this is a prime example of if you're a handsome or not. Can you get her to come to your place East? Is she coming to your place East? And if she's doing that, you must be attractive. Because a woman is not just saying, oh, we got good game. He got nice game. He talked my panties off. Let me go to this crib. No, 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 no. When a woman is just that okay with going to your crib, more than likely, she finds you very handsome, very attractive. There's no other way around this stuff, man. I'm not here to tell you guys lies. I'm telling you what you need to know to know if you are actually handsome and attractive or not. You know what I'm saying? If she is literally 
agreeing to come to your crib that fast what do you think it is i really want to know i'm trying to make this as simple as possible as i can for y'all my g why else would she come that's what i start thinking i start thinking to myself she's coming to my crib it's easy man this stuff is so easy and you know the thing was man back then because i was just basically coming out kind of a monk mode stage you know get myself together and whatnot but even then when i would tell these girls to come to my crib and they would just come so easily even i at one point in time was like man what the hell is going on why are they coming so easily i thought i would have to take me on them on dates and do this and that and um you know a lot of stuff that i hear on social media but if you are attractive you are handsome this stuff does not apply to you man they come to your crib and they only come in if they think you are handsome i'm not saying that's the only reason they're gonna come but that's a big reason in it especially when you don't have other things like if you don't have body game or you don't have you know what i'm saying no mouthpiece nothing like that no seduction sometimes they can just find you so damn fine they just come over because they can't help it they can't help themselves number three is women tell you man now this is a no-brainer women tell you if women literally say oh you are so fine you cute you handsome man y'all know the term riz i don't know how many older women i didn't had riz me up or i don't know how many you know what i'm saying <clears throat> other other um you know young girls as well but a lot of older women try to riz me up man but um even younger women too younger women to try to act like you ain't got the juice but you know a lot of them just don't give a damn they'll tell you straight up you know they find you fine they think you're cute cute fine sexy you know whatever but the point is they are complimenting you on your looks if a woman compliments you on your looks you have to be attractive a lot of y'all be like oh we waffle says um your strong jawline in the in the in the eyes the animal you know whatever they say about the eyes man if you are listening to another man judge your face the world this is all i'm gonna say i'm, I'm gonna say this so i can keep the pg th pg 13 and not get banned the world is becoming more weird and more unnatural if you are letting another man judge your face you need to look in the mirror and say i have a damn problem seriously but women are constantly complimenting your look saying you fine saying you this saying you that had one girl even come up to my car man she like she like you ain't gonna hit my friend you because i was back and i she like oh you cute just say it. you know what i'm saying they just have no problem with telling you you look good i'm trying to make this easy for you my guy they saying that you are handsome you cute you attractive that's the point if they if women are literally telling you this that's why i tell you guys i don't go off of what other guys are saying and what you know what i'm saying the damn black pill the black pill got some truth in it but do you think i'm saying the black pill this the black pill that hell no nah. I'm telling you what women have literally told me face to face the interactions that I've had, you know what I'm saying, face to face, like out here in the streets. I'm telling you, based off my experience of why I know I have to be attracted. I gotta be. Otherwise, the stuff that has happened to me would not be happening. You know what I'm saying? But women will tell you, you know, they let you know oh, you hot, handsome, because you know, the black woman they say, Oh, he fine. You know, he cute, he fine white women be like oh he's hot you know what i'm saying sometimes the asian women and uh you know other women other races like they be like he's a beautiful man you know they say things like that because they're raised up more different but um every race every culture they'll call you attractive in some type of way you know what i'm saying regardless of what your culture is they're gonna call you attractive so women tell you number four is you've been told you'll make some good looking kids or you targeted so let me tell y'all let me let me give y'all a little game real quick this ain't even game but let me give y'all a warning i'm gonna let you guys know right now these women are hoes and sluts but i am telling you right now if you are one of the most attractive guys they come across they'll choose to have a baby with you mark my words so the guys they'll just have sex with get one off but that guy that they find very attractive, they want them kids to come out looking like you, my G. I'm not capping to you. Woman to sit there and even tell y'all, we'll make some good looking kids. Just tell you straight up like that. So, understand, if you are being told you'll make some good looking kids and this and that, you got to realize what's going on right there, my G. They're not going to tell that to somebody that's ugly. Let's not get it twisted out here, man. Women will have sex. You know, they might want an ugly guy with a big 
you know what I'm saying? You know what? This and that. But let me tell you right now. They want their kids to come out looking good. That's off the rip. I'm telling you this. So understand that. And fifth and final, you have haters. You have dudes that just always are. That's Every time you come around, dudes are in envious energy towards you. They sit here and make guard their women. They do all type of things, man, and basically let you know that they not, you know what I'm saying? They, they just not a fan of you. They don't, they don't like you, basically. So whenever you have guys doing these things that's indicating that they are haters of you, that they are very envious of you, chances are, man, you must be attracted because guys don't just do that to any dude. They don't do that to a guy that they don't think, you know what I'm saying, puts them in danger. What do I mean by puts them in danger is basically takes all the attention off them. You know, everybody wants attention, man. You know, guys wants to be the top dog. Guys want to be, you know, the guy that the girl looks at. But if you around and all them girls looking at you, now nah, they mad at you. But yeah, you're going to have haters. Now, these signs should help you out, guys. If you didn't enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. I'll subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. And I'm out.